Hey friends, how are you all doing today? I thought you might like to tag along. I'm gonna paint a brown bear. I have never painted a bear before. I've got the reference photo here on my iPad. I'll link it in this video's description. Uh, the reference photo is from Pixabay. Isn't that great? I love the expression on the bear. I'm gonna paint it on a 16 by 20 inch canvas from Michaels. I always, I like the inch and a half thick gallery wrapped and splined. They're just really nice. I've tightened it up with water and a hair dryer, and I've written the word love on it. I've been forgetting to show that in my videos. Isn't that fun? I used, this time I used a uh, chalk pastel from Blick Art Materials. It's, it's really kind of a light burnt, uh, burnt umber color. They call it Van Dyke Brown Hue 2. Here, would it be better if I did it that way? <laughs> um, what else? Oh, my colors. I'll let you know what colors I think I'm going to use, and then I'll pop back in as we go along and uh, see what actually happens. So I'm going to use Mars Black, Titanium White. Uh, they're all Liquitex. I use a combination of Heavy Body and... Uh, basics especially during the pandemic I couldn't always find the heavy body so we'll use a lot of burnt umber in the bear the background I'm going to use just a little bit of phthalo green a little bit of black to mute it down and a whole bunch of white I think I want a, a light background or at least a lighter background I've done oh not too long ago I did a giraffe on a great rust but it was a very dark background Anyway, I just, so we're doing a bear portrait, so I think a light background might be kind of fun to mix it up. And I'm going to pretty much use muted colors instead of the bright, juicy colors I've been using. Using, And then I started chatting in one more color, raw sienna for some of the warm areas on the bear. Okay, I'm going to paint my background. We're going to have some fun, and then I'll be back in a bit. Okay, just a couple of quick comments. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I, <laughs> I cleared my throat before I started the video. Um, I had painted it with my original little bit of uh, phthalo green and black and a lot of white puddle that I made. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, yeah, it's a little bluer greener here in a couple of areas. Um, and then I came back and added a little more black to what was left. <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys and grayed it out a little bit more and then just put in some grayer streaks with some white and I thought um, you could just leave it diagonal kind of like the Sun's gonna be shining on the bear but I thought it might be kind of fun to put a, a vertical in there too I'm gonna let this dry go for a walk have some dinner and I'll be back in a bit okay this is the next day I've got my, there you can see that better. I've got my bear image transferred onto my canvas. I came back with some uh, charcoal pencil and kind of filled it in a little bit so I can see where the darker areas are. What I'm gonna do next, here, hang on, my head's probably gonna come in front of the camera here. Hey guys. So what I'm gonna do next is take some burnt umber and black Okay. Ooh, sorry, I'm trying to be, not get glare. And I'm going to work on shadow areas. Um, maybe a little bit of the face. But I'm going to paint shapes like this big. Oh, sorry about the glare, my ceiling light. Like these big sort of shadow areas. To help find the shapes of my bear's face. 
And then, so people have asked me recently, and they've also asked me in the past, I guess, how do you paint fur? Well, paint in some of the shadow areas. So paint kind of the back or the deep parts, which tend to be dark, and then build up to the lighter parts and pull some. You don't have to paint every hair, but you can pull, you can paint some of them. And we'll see how we go. You could paint every hair, um, but like if I have all this dark in there, then I can put some lighters on the top. And with the sheet painting I did recently, I'll link that in this video's description, I did instead of, um, you know, fur strokes or hair strokes, I did more blobs because the hair's curly and bent. And I also did squiggles, where these will be more brush strokes. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I will be back in a bit, guys. Hey friends, I'm gonna stop here and then we'll start the live um, at this point. Couple things I've been doing. So let's back up a little bit so I can find the brush. Oh, where did I put it? So one thing I was doing, here it is. I took a small liner type brush. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let's try it against this. There. It's little. It is a number three craft smart from Michaels. And I've been mixing browns and gray browns, so black and burnt umber, and then this is a black and burnt umber combination. I've just been mixing different values and then shifting the color a little bit to make it interesting. Right now I'm not too worried. And I, t I, been, I took this little brush and I, <laughs> I was almost, I was sketching here. I was sketching with the brush just to find shapes, um, tell myself what direction the fur is growing in, that kind of thing. Find the eyes. The eyes don't look here. I'm going to grab my, my reference photo. The eyes don't look like that, but the shapes do. So that's one thing I was doing. And then the next thing I started doing because I thought, oh, we'll work on that concept of sketching and just finding shapes and some values in the live. So I'm going to work on the nose and the mouth area. And then I took, um, gosh, I think it's a half inch flat brush. I've used it before. If you've been following me, it's bent because once the paint popped off, it kind of started warping. It's a Simply Simmons flat shader and I think it's a half inch. I really like this brush and it doesn't bother me that it's bent. And then I was just finding shapes and values in the ear coming around the side of the face and the neck and just kind of helping myself find things because eventually I'm going to lose my sketch. So I haven't done this ear yet, but that's basically what I was doing. And then if I'm not quite correct in the value, it's okay because I think it actually needs to be a little darker here and then go lighter here. But that's okay. I'm kind of finding the shadow shapes. Because then I can come over and I'm also putting in a little bit of the fur direction. I was going to say hair. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's fur on a bear. I just saw one I kind of missed. I want to maybe square this one up a little bit. And maybe this one too. Because um, it'll help me. Because those dark shapes help define, as well as the light ones, help define the bear because the bear is kind of like a an oval shaped head it's kind of oval shaped and in order to see that oval shape just like if you were shading a ball or a pear or oh, i've got a pear in a tomato video i'll link that in this video's description those are great practice because you need to have 
the round shape to define it. Just like the eyes are smaller, actually circles inside of an oval opening. Well, kind of a, actually kind of a football shape opening there. Okay, so that's all I've been doing, is just finding shapes, and I was doing a little sketching up here, which I like. I like that a lot. It's similar to when I painted the dog's eyes. I'm listing too many videos. We're gonna have too many links in this video description. This is very similar to when I painted the dog's eye live and large, and I was just sketching some of the fur. Okay, guys, so the, the live will start here, and then I'll be back in a bit. Hey, I don't think I, I know I mentioned my colors in the beginning because I showed you the tubes of paint, but just to review quick, um, phthalo green, oh, I sprayed it with water so that, because I'm gonna put it, so what I do here, let's let's talk about this. I missed it with a little bit of water. It's uh, It was an eyeglass cleaner bottle. So I spray it and then I will put another plate on top of it. And then I put it in a gallon baggie. Okay, now it's gonna be really runny because I sprayed it again. So my colors are Thalo Green, Mars Black, Burnt Umber, Raw Sienna, and Titanium White. Just so you can see them on my palette. This is a combination of uh, Burnt Umber and Mars Black. And I think I'm gonna add a yellow, Cad Yellow, so I can uh, get a glow going. Well, I, I sometimes that drives you guys nuts. You wanna know the colors right away. But I'm building a painting like I would build a puzzle or a model or a house. You know, I figure, uh, I figure out the foundation and the structure and then I start finding uh, edges like in a puzzle. I'm mixing my metaphors here. And then I keep building on that. You know, and then I start working on lights and values and other fun things towards the end. Okay guys, I just didn't know if I needed to talk about my colors again, so I popped in. We'll start the live here and then I'll be back. Hey friends, that last little bit, that was time-lapsed. It was the live. And on the live, we painted this part. So at layer one, here, if you wanna see. So the eyes aren't that light, but I just have them in there for now. And I just got some paint down. It's like that, this area really didn't have any brush strokes in it, and then I put a couple light ones on top. I'm just finding shapes and values to see what I think. Um, right after the live, I put a little brown in the nose because it was, the nose really does look like it's sort of stuck on to the bear. It may look better when I get more of this painted in. And I worked on the mouth, but you can see it's pretty messy. I'm just sort of blocking it in, finding some of the darker shadow shapes. Here, I'll show you what I mean about the nose. Oops. Oh, shoot. It just, here we go. It's black where everything around it is brown, gray, or warm browns. I also think it might look better once I get other parts on, on the bear. And it's not done. I'm just, as I just said a minute ago, I'm getting paint down and just seeing what's what. Okay, so I thought I'd pop in and say hi and let you know what that last time, time lapse bit was. 
and then I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, popping in. Oh, hopefully I didn't bump my phone there. Popping in because I want to talk a little bit about what I'm doing. So I came back and put darker blacks into some of the shadow areas. Um, I always say um when I'm pausing and trying to decide what to say next. I mixed brown and some black with the thalo green. I think it's thalo green. It's been a few days since I've worked on this painting. Yeah, thalo green. And I I was a little scared, but I think it's gonna work well because it's making kind of a green gray in the shadow areas, and that'll help tie in the background. I may even come back and glaze some thalo green or something in a few spots. I just wanted to pop in and, and talk about that I was doing that. I'm liking this better because I came up and put kind of a grayer shadow up here and I'm liking that better. That'll help the sun feel like it's coming from this direction. I still may come back and put glaze some cad yellow or something over here, but I haven't decided yet. I need to get more of the puzzle put together. And then I need, also need to come back with another layer of paint. Can you see? I, I can't see because it's so close, but like I get little specks of the background showing through. It's not a huge problem, but I just like to get a little bit more depth of color. Plus, I have this a little flat. I don't know if I want to leave it flat or I want to have more, you know, brush strokes like it's fur. And of course, the eyes aren't done yet. Have I showed you the eyes? I think I have. But the eyes aren't done. This eye is probably going to be pretty much black. That's how it looks in the reference photo. Oh, and I, I know I've talked about, or at least during the live I talked about, I think they need to smooth that out. Okay. I just wanted to pop in and let you know what I was thinking with the colors mostly. So I'm, I'm getting close to getting layer one done. I got to work on this area down here. Find some of the shapes around the chin. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, let's do a quick tour. I um, added some more darks down here, I think since we last chatted. I put in a little straight up phthalo green. It gets really muted over all the browns and blacks I have there. What else? I've The eyes are probably pretty close to done. I've refined the nose again. I just, this needs to be whiter. I darkened this, now this, I, this needs to be lighter. But I put in some chin hairs, we find the nose. And when I get back from it, or like when I look into my phone, oh yeah, this is way too dark now. Um, 
it's looking a lot better. So let's do a quick little tour here. So that's pretty much how that eye looks. The eye looks a little more bloodshot in my reference photo. I didn't make it as bloodshot. And then the other eye, that's pretty close to how it is in the photo. <laughs> Here's a really close look at the nose. So I don't put in every hair, but you put in some wild ones and it looks, I think it looks really fun. Put in the ones that, that, um, that stand out to you. So you need to get back. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to add some yellow. Let's see, where is it? I'm going to start putting in, I think I might glaze some yellow here. I'm going to lighten that up. And then some of these areas need more layers on oh, here. Cad yellow, medium hue. Like this definitely just needs more. Can you see? I mean, it's okay that my canvas is showing through, but I just want more depth. I don't know if you can see that in the video because I am off to the side of my phone and I can barely see what you guys are looking at. Hopefully you can see where it just shrank or I got a little dry brushing or something. Okay guys, that's about all I have to say. I kind of might want to, I don't know, do a little smearing and tie some browns into the background. I might do that or do a little glazing because right now I've kind of got, this helps, but I still kind of have a bear stuck on a, on a blue green background. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm popping in again. So I think you can see it on the video. I'm looking at my phone. The phone, the video smooths it out, even though, gosh, I'm a foot to 18 inches, <coughs> excuse me, for away from my canvas. But like I've just played with, oh, I even need a little more paint. Um, played with layers that I like the yellow because I get more of a sun splash on the bear. Oh, I'm gonna call this Bear E. Wellington. Thanks, Michael. Um, in the last live, he gave some great ideas in the chat. Um, I put in some white blobs. Like, I really like that one. Can you see that one? So it kind of entertains. Oh, I lightened up a little bit around the eye right there. I think you can see that I've just been layering brush strokes and watching the values and playing with it. I lightened up the head. So I think this, I think you can see how layers help where here it's kind of flat, which is okay. I mean, it's okay. But I just start having fun with the brush strokes. I'm gonna say the word layers again. <laughs> here, let's see if this helps. So I think this ear is done. Oh, and I came back in and negative painted. So I had pretty much a straight curve and then I went back with some darker browns and just sort of broke it up, made a little jaggier. And then the other ear, I've only worked a little bit right here. That just has pretty much one layer. Of course, this, this ear has yellows. I think you can see the difference. And you don't have to paint this way. That's just how I do it. And it's fun. To me, it's fun when you can kind of loosen up and put some flicks. You know, I smeared some yellow out. Okay, guys, I just wanted to pop in with a couple comments. I'll be back after a bit.
hey friends, what do you think? I think I'm done. So I am, um, I think I already talked about it that I took like some raw sienna and some yellow and some matte medium just to um, bring the bear's colors into the background. I did put, oh, there's a little bit there. I did put kind of a gray phthalo green to the bear, but then I ended up glazing over the shadow areas. But I think we're okay. Here, here's the matte medium. And then I took a big brush and just darkened this area because while it was really fun, I had a bunch of brush strokes that were all kind of calling for attention. And I really want to keep the, the attention up here. So I added, glazed some black over this area. Um, I glazed a little brown and darker color here just to um, kind of have this turn into the shadow area. And I put a little bit of whites. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I put a, bit, a few whites up and over here. But it's, it's definitely better. When I look into my phone, this was too important and too many busy brush strokes. There's, the busy brush strokes are still there, but I pushed them all back by glazing some black over it. You could use water. Whoops. Let's see if you can get a better look at that up close. I like that. You'll have to let me know what we think. I like like little entertaining white bits. I've got quite a few up in here. I don't think, I think I mentioned that I white, I made the eye a little bit bigger and made that line a little whiter. Just to call more attention because the eyes are quite little. Oh, hello, freckles. And then the bear tends to kind of look like it has. Well, it does. Although I made this darker, I could make this a little lighter because it kind of has black eyes. I don't know. I think I need to, because um, when I look at my phone, it looks like this might need, might need to be a little lighter. Or I cannot worry about it. I think I just need to go have some dinner, look at it tomorrow, and see what I think. Well, thanks a bunch for tagging along with me. It's super fun for me. I really like seeing what you're doing on your art journey in the Facebook group. The link is in this video's description. That is just the best. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.